<clears throat> Welcome to Advanced Wars Instruction. I'm happy to say that for all you Andy fans, this is the last Green Earth mission that uses Andy. What's Sonya doing with Eagle? Well, in this mission, now we finally sprouted a brain. Now we finally sprouted a brain because we finally managed to outsmart Drake. What? Check this out. All you gotta do to win is destroy Drake's single lander. I, I bet that cargo's full of crack, but. <laughs> anyways. Uh. Let's see. Yeah, you have to destroy the lander. The subs are the best ways to do this. And the usual fog war tactics. Plus, Andy. And you know, uh. For a moment there, I, I thought you could put the recon in the APC. Yes. And keep it. Now the APCs are really important. Do you know why? Raise your hand if you know why. Oh, you can't be serious. No one raised their hand. Okay then, I'll just have to tell you. So long to get around to the reef where Drake's lander is on. That is the one just beneath the, the northern bridge. It takes so long for a sub to get there that you'll actually run out of. Oh, crap. Uh, anyways, it takes so long to get to the reef where Drake's lander is. And you'll actually, you mu you'll actually run out of fuel before you do. Do get there if if you don't have an APC. So keep those in. And don't worry if two subs get damaged. Uh, I found this little trick called joint. Basically, you put two of the same units together, and their HP is combined. Oh, I told you this already? Well, here's something I didn't tell you. I did, and or forgot to tell you that if you join two subs, they rise automatically. So, just watch where you're doing, okay? Okay. Now, there is a battleship there. I'll have to get rid of that. Drake's gonna use his seal power next turn. And I wouldn't worry too much about the cities, you don't need them. Unless you need to repair the APC, which by all means do that. And he rides the sub. No idea why he did. Nell's not the only one with luck. I just blew up that 6 HP cruiser when I was only doing 48 damage. And there's another sub. Great. Incoming. Here comes the way A, dude. Ugh, that power is so annoying. It's like Sammy says, That should- That tsunami should be against the rules! But luckily, since you have Andy, you can just repair all the units. Yay, that's why I like to save my CO power for in these missions. As for that cruiser, you want to taste your sub power. After you hit it with the battleship, of course. Oh, 
Oh boy, the sub's almost out of fuel. See, that's why I hate about the subs. They burn more fuel. And I left the battleship with 3 HP. That is not good. I just want to let you know that refueling takes priority over killing the battleship, especially if you're almost out of fuel. Because you all know that if an air or sea unit runs out of fuel, it crashes. Or sinks, or whatever. Screwed up. The lantern is not in that reef, which means it must be in the one standing directly next to the vertical bridge, or the one all the way down at the bottom. The latter of which I hope it's not. And at this point, I really can just ignore everything except the subs. And of course, the lantern is at the bottom reef because that's because the other one has a sub. And you know what I always thought was weird? Why can't enemy subs see your subs when 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 both of them are dying? What, so we're playing this from the CO's point of view? Great. And boom! We win. You'll find out what Sony's up to next. But me, I think we'll go back and do Max's path. Even though not very many of you are going to actually try Max's path, because ooh, almost perfect S rank.